of course it doesn't want to come out and that's okay i guess i'm going to show you guys a trick then Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage in this very, very cold morning here in New Jersey. Beautiful state of New Jersey. Boy, when is the warm weather coming around? That's beside the point. Who here is ready for some free maintenance tips on a very important portion of your Forerunner? Super important detail must be in a level surface. Always keep the car as level as possible and you will get the level correct. Let's do this. things first let's talk uh, washers I definitely want to emphasize on this one guys you need to get washers these are crush washers you should only use them once so I'll leave the part numbers as always for you guys um, as far as fluid so this is the one that, rec that Toyota recommends 7585 GL5 is the key there so you can see this is what I'm using it's also GL5 it's not the correct grade, but you, you know, it's not gonna break anything. We use this all the time. Uh, this is the better option in my opinion because it is uh, synthetic. But we also use which again, a different viscosity. But we use this, which is Chevron. So Chevron is the distributor here for us, and this is actually a very good picture. For you guys to keep in mind when checking the level, think is this is the inside surface of the diff. This is where the level should be. You basically want to let it finish dripping. When there's no more dripping going on, then you should be good. But let's get right on to it. I'm going to go ahead and start with the transfer case fluid. tools you're gonna need you can use a ratchet with a socket 24 is the size you're looking for I like to use my little wrench here always guys always start with the top one you want to make sure you can break loose the fill plug because if you can't get this one loose and you drain all the fluid then you're in bad shape so there we go get your drain plug ready Top one out first, and then you should have a nice stream. As you guys can see, I'm a poor example because this is very much clean. I think this fluid has about 20,000 miles on it, so um, we will discuss those intervals at the end of the video. And that's that. Again, I'll show you guys a close up. This is what I'm talking about. Always replace these guys with new ones both the fill and the drain plug. When it's, you know, just about done dripping and you got your brand new crush washer, install it. Transfer case, super easy. It's actually 27 foot pounds of torque, either fill or drain. So get your 24 and listen for the click. So obviously it goes without saying there's different ways of getting the fluid in there, but let me show you guys more or less. It would help if I opened it, right? This is live right here, pumping it. Oh, how exciting of a video. But you know what? I wanted you guys to see exactly what it is that we do. So you watch it, and as you can see there, 
Yep. I overfilled it. It's all right. The key now is let it drip until it stops dripping. Same kind of story, guys. 27 foot panels at work. Or, as the Germans say, good and tight. So here we go, guys. Rear diff, same kind of story. You wanna start with the top, again, 24 mil. Crack that guy loose. You know that one is loose. And now, this guy. Same story. I like to uh, keep the messes to a minimum. So let's see. Put this guy to the side and then grab this guy. Always make sure the gasket comes out with it so that you don't double gasket. See, this one, the gasket is actually not in the plug itself. So we will have to remove it and make sure that's not in that location. Again, as you guys can see, pretty clear fluid. It's not too bad, so, but we're gonna go ahead and put some fresh fluid in there. This one, unlike the transfer case, um, the drain plug actually does have a magnet. As you guys can see, I don't know how well that shows on camera. A little bit of shavings, this is perfectly normal. You grab a clean rag and you wipe it, and this is basically what you gonna end up with. Do not be alarmed. This is completely normal and expected. Put a new crush washer after you clean the magnet, of course. And on this guy is gonna actually be 36 foot pounds of torque. So again, let's see. There you go. Make sure it clicks and you're good to go. Now let's fill her up and take care of the top one. And don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up. And don't you know, pump it up. Oh man, I'm gonna get copyrights on this. Pump it up. Okay, we're almost there. You don't wanna overfill it too much cause then you gotta wait longer. Let's see, come on. Of course, I'll give you guys the capacity on either diff and or transfer case, but uh, I can assure you it's not a whole lot, although it feels like it. Come on, come on. Here we go. Start to see something. Yep. There you have it. Let it drip, drip, drip. Bring your washer. And let's go for the click, 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 clack. No, no clack, just click. Right? Let's see. There we go. But if you guys prefer good and tight, I won't tell nobody. This cover, guys, it's actually pretty simple. Get yourself a 12. cover is not going to fall off because as I will show you guys in a second here there's a little tab here that holds it so you don't hurt yourself this one will keep it in place all right front differential of course to that to throw us a curveball what you need is a number 10 allen it's a really big boy here and this is the guy in question of course always take your filler out first just in case, and I can assure you, you're gonna have to hammer it in because these things have a tendency of getting a little bit of rust. No big deal, a little persuasion, and we're there. So, crack it loose, that's that. Try not to break the camera. And then as always, 
I take my stuff by hand, nice and easy. And then what you want to do is take the drain plug next. Let's do it. And for the drain plug, it's the same story. You want to get your 10 Allen in there. A little bit of uh, hammer action is quite all right, not to worry. You're not gonna hurt anything. The key is you might need a big breaker bar. So let's see what we got here. Oh. All right. Might take a few tries. Wow, of course, of course, it doesn't want to come out, and that's okay. I guess I'm going to show you guys a trick then. Uh, your Allen is not getting it out. What you want to do is get a punch. Believe me, it works. It sounds crazy, but it's going to work. Create a little bit of a groove there. This is definitely not what you guys want to see, but if it does happen to you, this is usually the way we get it out. Yes, it's not going to look pretty, but uh, hey, at the end of the day, this is a, yeah, it's a solution as well. Sorry guys, I'm a little out of breath. And this is also the only one that actually uses the different washer, crush washer that is the copper one so again try not to make a mess i'm eventually gonna get it out but there it is yep all good let it drain all the way this guy is gonna have also a magnet and don't worry just like you see on mine this is perfectly normal wipe it clean best you can and as before get yourself the new crush washer this one is copper massive in size and let's get her back in there yes mine looks a little beat up but i can assure you this is still gonna work we're gonna make it work so here I'll show you guys in a second this is obviously an emergency i would typically be replacing this guy obviously being that it's bigger and all it is 48 foot pounds of torque you're gonna want to get a little tiny extension nothing too big just so you can clear the bracket that holds your front diff and it should be back in business listen for the click and you're good to go there we go again you guys know the drill fill her up until she starts dripping and you are good to go it doesn't really take much i will obviously in the corner of the display there give you guys the fluid capacity on these uh, differentials that's that do not forget to put your crush washer in this one you're actually going to torque it to 29 foot pounds of torque which again i think toyota is just trying to confuse us all is different than everything else but if i'm not mistaken i think yeah a little more a little more it's okay all right all right just a little more there we go i think we're good in there a little drippy drippy yep there we go see and there you have it she's done dripping again i know redundant brand new crush washer i know hopefully by the end of this video guys gonna be like yep yep I gotta replace that washer vikings garage said so all right now 29 foot pounds of torque of course they had to go with a different number just to confuse everybody, but that is the number they chose. I don't know why, but I'm sure there's a lot of scientific reasons behind that. And listen for the click and you're done. So what did you guys think? It's really not that hard to do, uh, guys. Super simple. I have absolutely full confidence that you guys at home can accomplish this as well. If there is only one obstacle that you guys might face is probably the lift portion of it. I'm very blessed that I have access to that. 
but I thought of you guys. So what I want to do here, I'm going to put on the side of the screen here some possible options that you have to get that fluid up there with ease. But I, I'm going to take it one step further than that. If you don't want to deal with any of that, woo, check this guy out. And no, I am not being sponsored by them. I'm only sharing this with you guys because I've personally done this. And this, this is a blessing in disguise. I don't know who came up with this idea, but this is great. Take the cap off, get it in there. It's You can't miss it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And you're going to get almost all the fluid out, if not all of it. And bam, you're done. Done deal. You, on the driveway, will accomplish this, no problem. And guess what? The best part is you just saved yourself a whole bunch of money. And that is, at the end of the day, why I created this maintenance series for you guys that you can do at home. If you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, you're missing out. And until the next time, guys, I will catch you guys on the next one.